Hello guys welcome to my channel. I am Astro World and this is my first video please support me by subscribing. My channel is about space, universe, astronomy etc. We give the right knowledge. If you have any compliments just comment down below and I will reply. Today we are going to see about the solar system. The solar system comprises 8 planets, approximately 170 natural planetary satellites, and countless asteroids, meteorites, and comets. The solar system is situated within the Orion Cygnus arm of the Milky Way galaxy. Alpha Centauri, made up of the stars Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri A, and Alpha Centauri B, is the closest star system to the solar system. Europa and Enceladus, moons of Jupiter and Saturn respectively our eyes covered rocky objects that scientists think may harbor life in the water beneath the surface. Some geological evidence points to the possibility of microorganisms on Mars. Facts about the solar system. The sun is 93 million miles from the Earth. That's the same as taking 1,000 trips to Australia. Even though it's so far away the light from the sun only takes 8 minutes to travel to the Earth. There are 181 moons in the solar system. Scientists are always discovering more moons in the solar system and arguing over whether Saturn or Jupiter have more moons. Currently Jupiter and Saturn both have 53 confirmed moons, but they also both have more than 30 moons NASA haven't confirmed. There is also 552,894 asteroids and 3,083 comets in the solar system. Neptune was the last planet to be discovered in the solar system. Neptune was the last planet to be discovered. On the night of the 23rd of September 1846 astronomers discovered Neptune through a telescope. Our solar system is moving with an average velocity of 450,000 miles per hour. But even at this speed, it takes about 230 million years for the sun to make one complete trip around the Milky Way. The sun rotates on its axis as it revolves around the galaxy. The size of a solar system is determined by how far its sun's gravity overpowers other objects in the region, which in the case of the sun extends to the Oort cloud, a reservoir of cometary material located between 5,000 and 50,000 away. That boundary would give the solar system a diameter of around 2 light years across. The eight planets in our solar system are divided into the inner planets of Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, which are basically made of rock and metal. And the outer planets of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, which are made of hydrogen, helium and other gases. Despite being referred to as gas giants, intense heat and pressure towards their centers cause their gases to compress into liquid metal or rock. Asteroids are usually rocky or metallic in nature, and in our solar system most can be found orbiting the Sun between Mars and Jupiter in an area known as the asteroid belt. It is believed that in the early evolution of the solar system, this region once contained enough material to form a planet, but Jupiter's intense gravity stopped the materials from successfully coalescing into a planet. The closer the planet is to the Sun, the quicker is its annual orbit around our star. Whereas the Earth takes one year to revolve around the Sun, for instance, Mercury would complete its orbit in 88 days, while distant Neptune would complete its annual trek in 165 years. In ancient times, the solar system was considered to represent the entire universe and the planets were believed to be wandering stars orbiting the Earth along with the Sun and stars. With the advent of the scientific revolution beginning in 1543, the Earth was later included in the list of planets, but until recently astronomers still knew of only one solar system in the universe. Within the last 17 years or so, however, over 4,000 planets orbiting distant stars have been found, and scientists now estimate that there may be as many as 100 billion solar systems in our own Milky Way galaxy, alone. Well I guess that was interesting, I hope you enjoyed it. See you with my next video.